All right, so first day in Spain. We're just coming here from Porto, Portugal. We were there for a few days and had an amazing time. We're in Madrid to start the Spain part of the trip. We actually started the uh, visit here to Madrid this morning with a gigantic march happening right outside where we're staying. And uh, we're now in El Retiro Park for a while. And there is a lot going on in this park. I guess what they got. Boats. Time to work off some of those calories. You gotta navigate because there's a lot of boats out You're here and I don't right. want to hit anybody. Uh oh. I think we're taking on water. Alright, it's getting a little choppy out here. I think it's time we turn back. <laughs> Whew. That is quite the workout. A lot of fun though. So I ended up spending almost the entire day in El Retiro Park. Wasn't expecting to, but there was so much there. Lots of cool buildings and monuments, even some good options for food and drinks. And of course, uh, the boats were epic. Even saw a pigeon chilling on a turtle you just don't see that kind of stuff back home so yeah it was uh, a fun day out and uh, we actually closed the day when we found a restaurant it was so busy we finally found a table we just parked there for the night but had some great food had some lamb and seafood pasta today we are at the royal palace of madrid i think there's over 3,000 rooms in there. Just Googled it, 3,418 rooms in this place. This is from the, I think this is the front side of it here. How about this for an artistic shot here? Ooh. Skip the line tickets, sold out for today, but I'm gonna tough it out here and stand in the regular line. My wife's chilling on the stairs over there. So I get a bit closer. We got through the lineup. It's getting it's pretty hot. We've got some nice weather up in the high 20s through the day. Quite cool at night. We're in the courtyard here now. And uh, I'm gonna go see the inside. you're not allowed to film in so you're gonna have to go and see it for yourself someday but it is definitely worthwhile if you happen to be here one thing that I saw was a must to try was the ear of pig while in Madrid so this is it it doesn't taste good either Okay, there's little crunchy bits, and then there's other bits. Go for the crunchy bits. Next up, Raza Mayor. This looks like a spot here. Wow. Looks like some good food options. Another little taste tester here. We've got a squid sandwich. <laughs> I take it over the pig ears. <laughs> Made another little stop and tried a squid sandwich. 
the sun right behind me there. It's pretty good. Didn't mind it at all, and uh, we're just gonna continue on our little tour here. This area here is Puerto del Sol. There's a famous statue around here somewhere that I don't see. Just spotted it, it's on the other side here. This is it, the bear and the strawberry tree. A lot of people getting picks for the gram here. It's on? Okay. Wanna get tattoos? All right, we're going to get tattoos. I'm gonna get a sweet neck tattoo, I think. And this is where we're headed, Gran Via. This is one of the popular spots for shopping and uh, eating entertainment. It looks like a pretty happening spot. Wasn't expecting to see this on Gran Via, but this is a Canadian staple, Tim Hortons coffee. I heard they had brought a few to Europe, but uh, surprised to see one. It is our last day in Madrid, and I will say one of the things with traveling the way we are, we're kind of jumping from place to place quite quickly is you end up missing a lot. There's a whole lot to take in here in the city that we're going to miss. I saw lots of cool stuff too, but there's one thing that you might be surprised to find that they have here, and that is an ancient Egyptian temple, and that's where we're on the way to now. Almost there. I believe these stairs will get us up to the temple. All right, so behind me here is the Temple of the Bod. I was completely unaware of this place until just a few weeks ago, but back in the 60s, there was a flooding situation in Egypt. A bunch of countries helped, and they donated four of these temples to four different countries. Spain is one of them. And this is it from the second century BC. It's usually water in this part here, but not today for some reason. Let's see what they got going on inside here. to this place. And this is what it would have looked like back in the day. Get a few artifacts here on display. Back down the stairs. Well, that was very cool. Again, not expecting to uh, be visiting any ancient Egyptian temples while in Madrid, but here we are. Just going through the one little structure there. Got another one here ahead of us. One little heads up I will say is, and it's cool that they do it in a way, but there's only 10 people allowed in at a time. So the lineup isn't all that long, but it, it took quite a bit of time to uh, get through it. But yeah, that was the Temple of Dubai. Oh man, Madrid went by way too fast. Could have easily spent a few more days here. But tomorrow we are catching the train to Zaragoza. And one thing that's really cool that's happening there is we're having a little mini watch meet. A good friend of mine, Adrian, he lives in the area. So we're meeting up with him. If you're on Instagram, you might know him. He is watch underscore ADN. Him and a couple of his watch buddies, we're going to get together tomorrow night. Tomorrow night or the next night. And uh, should be fun.